So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create infographics manually. I have a video where I show you how to create it using a custom connector that was released a few years back by Microsoft. But I think this is a quite nice way to create them like very, very quickly. And you know, easy infographics. So what you see on the screen is what we're going to recreate. And this tip, I actually, I think it was on Twitter that I saw it. This is from, Laura, hat full of data, and she walks us through the inner workings of making this happen. You know, this, she does it with an elephant and she walks through everything. I'm going to show you, I'm going to have the link down below so you can go and check. I'm not going to tell you exactly how every detail works, but I've created a measure that will allow you to recreate this very, very, very quickly. Okay, how about we go back to Power BI? This is how the thing works. I have a table. I have actually two tables, but let's start with the first one that says just demographics. It has female, how many female visitors to a website, for example, and how many male. And we want to graph that. We want to show that in the graph. So how do we do that? There is here, don't, don't get scared. I will explain enough so you understand. So I have a DAX measure here that does the magic. And it is very, very simple. So this is for the female icon. This is for the male icon. Now, let's walk through how to do this with another example. I have here another table that has capacity. So we're going to display, let's say that you run a museum, for example, and you want to you have calculated the capacity of your museum. And you want to display that graphically with an infographic. You ready? Okay. So I have, cal you know, I have a measure that it just sums the capacity. So the capacity for that specific place is around 30%. And now we want to create an infographic for that. So this is one of the things that she did like super cool. She sets it up here. Like there are tons of places where you can get SVGs, but you have it in PowerPoint. Who knew? So I have PowerPoint open in here. You go to the search button and you just write icon. Uh, icon. Do you see insert icons? You click on that one. And it will give you all the icons that are available in the PowerPoint. Okay. So we are going to grab buildings and this is a museum. So how about we grab this one and I have already downloaded, but I want to show you how it's done. So put it in there and then you right click and save as picture. And it's going to save it as SVG. As you can see, I already have it in there. So I'm not going to touch it. That's it, but it will save. Let me show you how it looks. So it will save an SVG as a, you know, you can actually click on it and look at it and see how, how you know, that, that's the SVG. So you know, so that you downloaded the correct one. So what do you do with that? Well, you need to right click and use, you know, open it with a notepad. Any notepad. I use uh, Notepad++, plus plus, but you know, the Windows Notepad will work too. And you have to look a little bit at the code and you see that here it says path. This is what you need to do. And this differs from Laura's uh, blog post, okay? Because it copies the path, the entire path. I just, because you have to change this double quotes with single quotes, I said, okay, how about I change the DAX code so you just copy the path letters or you know the actual path so we copy that well not yet because what we're going to do first is going to copy our female icon you are going to get this code so you can do exactly the same thing we're going to create a new measure paste everything and instead of female icon we're going to call it capacity and do you see the first thing? It says add the icon path. That's when we go in here and copy just the numbers, nothing else, and paste it in there. You see? So now we have our icon. What's the next one? It says define the percentage to be colored. So this is 
you have to tell how much should be a specific color. Here you define in the percentage area the, fa the, the part that has the color and the other one will be the, the background color. So in this case, it's not female visitors, it is the total capacity. So you, we just put total capacity. It is in decimals, we want to put it in percent, so times 100. And it will calculate the fill area automatically. You don't have to do that. So this is going to be the red area. And this is going to be the gray area. And then here the, you have the percentage color. Now it's red and gray, but you can put it in any color. I'll show you how to change that. And then you don't need to do anything else if you want to have the orientation horizontal. I'm going to show you what that is. So here we have our capacity icon. You have to, because we are going to put this in a table, you have to uh, change it to an image URL. So Power BI knows that this is an image. Use a table. And here we have the capacity icon. How easy is that? It's super cool. Now we need to format this a little bit. Uh, we need to um, column headers like that. And we want to remove the outline. And now we have one. And then we want to make it a little bit bigger. You won't be able to do it a lot bigger than that, but I think it's enough. Right? And here you have your super infographic. Now, let's say that you want to change the color. You want to change it instead of red, you want to change it to green. Let's see. I have some cool colors in there. 73 BCB2. And now it's green. If you don't know where to find these colors' names, you, the, the easiest way you can do is you can go in here and then find a color, and then you say, oh, I want to have a light blue. What color is that? You go here to custom column, and here you have the code. So you can copy it, and then go in here, paste it. Ah, oh, the Dax editor is... And now you have it blue. Okay? Looks super cool, isn't it? Now. There is one more thing that you can do with this measure, and it's change the uh, how the blue is being filled. If it is filled from the bottom to the top, or from the left to the right, or from the right to the left, depending on which country you come from. So we're going to do one more. We're going to get this, but we want to have it red. So let's pick this one right from the start. We're going to do capacity. Oh, the tax editor is so control A, control C. We're going to go in here, new. And now we're going to have a battery icon. So battery icons, let me show you. Um, there. You see that it goes like that, so we want to. We don't want to fill it this direction. We want to fill it that direction, and that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to do the same thing. Edit with a pad, a notepad of some kind. Here is our path. So we need to grab everything that is between the double quotes in there. Go back to Power BI. Where are you, my friend? Battery icon. Change that. And now here it should be again total capacity instead. To total capacity, remove all that stuff. And now we need to change the orientation. So here you see a horizontal orientation, comment this if you want to vertical. And we do want a vertical, so we're going to comment that out. Like that, if you want to do multiple lines. And then we're going to remove the comment on that one and you'll see battery icon we have to put it as an image url if we want to display it in a table put it in there put it as a table and there we have it so we're going to make it bigger so and then remove the um 
we can put it actually. Oh, it's not just, but, but we can change the order, so that's no problem. Uh, column headers, white, non, and then format sent to back. You see? So now we have that one in the front. We can put it somewhere like that, and the data label should be like that. Cool, isn't it? And obviously it will change as you change the as the data changes, this will go up and down. So this is super cool. Thank you, Laura, for your tip. Awesome. This is something that I plan to use, definitely. It's just cool, really cool. Okay, let me know what you think. Uh, and uh, I'll see you again, I think, on Friday. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.